I forgot, basically uh, I have the four LEDs in series uh, so that would make it about uh, 12, 13 volts and I won't need any resistors for that. Uh, the power supply would be 12 volts, uh, it would be pretty steady. Uh, it would work of course uh, much better if you have a regular, I mean regulated power supply of 12 volts, but I think uh, this would do. Uh, so basically it's positive to negative and uh, and then you would have the whole thing lined up in series and then the ends are connected to the switch here and then you would have a, a so light. this is the uh, setup I have for the charge controller and the LED light uh, I use a CD case uh, as a container for the LED lights there are four LED bulbs in there and there's an on off switch in the bottom but basically I'm using the button here on the solar charger as a uh, on off switch when you press it and you can see the light goes on it's daytime now so you're not going to see too much uh, there's a piece of paper inside uh, taped to the cover so it diffuses the light and you can see some of the lights in the middle uh, it generates very low heat so I don't think there's going to be any safety issue involved uh, when the charge controller unit is on the amber light is also on this indicates uh, it is charging this left button and this one indicates the voltage of the battery is good. There's no numbers, just an idiot light. And I'm using this solar panel. It's a 1.8 volt uh, watt. And uh, it's not really in the best position, but uh, it's uh, hidden. So uh, it doesn't look too uh, unsightly. So this is how it looks and of course the unit is connected to a uh, 7.5 amp hour battery I'm testing it right now so I have it out here uh, and I am testing the charge uh, it's about 12.6 now uh, with the light on so let's turn it back off So I would think the LEDs in here, there are four of them, they're probably about 1 to 1.5 watt at the most. So it's not going to consume that much electricity. Uh, but the uh, even the charge controller itself would consume a little bit of electricity uh, at, at night. So... Uh, Hopefully this would be, the small solar panel would be sufficient to charge it. The problem I have is the panel is not in the best position so it doesn't catch the sun at the uh, best angle. But uh, right now I'm just uh, testing it and it seems to be working now. It's 12.62 uh, uh, is going to I have two, three more hours at least uh, for the sun to come and and charge up the battery, and this is it. This is my uh, general purpose uh, emergency light. Uh, I have a uh, Lowe's uh, LED. As I was saying, uh, you can get an LED 12 volt light from uh, Lowe's for fifteen dollars. I have something like that in the garage but uh, I was kinda interested in making uh, something out of uh, recycled material so I'm using this CD case for the light and I really like the solar charge controller because it has the timer function when the sun goes out 
or when the sun goes down uh, you can set uh, by pressing this button here how many hours uh, you want the uh, the light to stay on you can set it to five six seven eight nine ten hours I think so that's a nice feature okay thanks for watching I think uh, now the uh, the voltage has gone up uh, a bit to 12.67 now. I have maybe three more hours of sunlight and maybe I'll get more charge out of this yet.